Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Assalamu alaikum to all my Arabic followers. So, kung tane, kesa he, sangaye, to all my Pakistani Indian friends. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenas tardes. And of course, to all the people who are watching, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And here, I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today, we're gonna talk about some features of AutoCAD 2021 release that I think is very useful for our drawings based on my experience. Apologies if I won't be able to mention all the new features, so if you think that I missed out something, please comment down below. So let's get started. The first feature I'm going to show you is I think it's the coolest of all. This is about the changes on the external references or XREFs. In previous releases of AutoCAD, whenever there are changes in the XREF, a balloon notification will show up in this lower part. In the new AutoCAD 2021, there is still this balloon notification but with some few enhancements. To illustrate, I have this plan with an external references. So let's go out of this plan for a while, open the xref and make some changes on it. This is the xref of that file. Open and let's make some changes. Like I'm going to complete this group up to the entire column. So copy. I think this is okay. And maybe some additional plans here. Let's save these changes and close. Then open the file where you use the xref. There is this still old notification balloon except that there is a new feature which offers you to compare the changes made on the xref. And when you click this blue executable text, Everything will be in gray color as if you are in another world except all the changes are in color and clouded. There is also a small control box on top of it and when you click this gear icon there is a legend which explains all the meaning of those colors like this green one is only on the xref and the red ones are the one that was removed. And when you are done with comparing the xref, you can click this check icon to go back to the normal view of the files you are working on. So how do you feel about this new feature? Is it handy or not? For me, it is very cool and handy because in my line of work, it is very important to be informed on all changes on the xref because it saves time to update any effects on the changes. And whether you feel the same way or not, uh, please comment down below. The second feature is the changes made to the trim and extend command. In the older version, when you do the trim command by default, it will initially ask for the cutting edges and on the extend command, the boundary edges. In AutoCAD 2021, for some reason, this default has been changed to a quick mode. So when you command trim, as you can see, it is asking not for the cutting edges, but for you to select the object you wanted to trim down so you can pick for the object right away. Same thing with the extend command. Instead of asking for the boundary edges, it is asking for you to select the object to extend. Enter. So how do you feel about this new feature of AutoCAD 2021? For me, it's not so bad, but also not so good. Because trim and extend always need some edges in my line of work. And if in some cases where I don't need to define some edges, I just do the double enter and the quick mode will be activated. But if you feel the same way as I do, there is a way to go back to the old school method of trim and extend by changing the trim extend mode variable. So let me show you. Type tr but don't enter. Wait until all the commands starts with tr appear and choose the trim extend mode and change the value to zero. Enter. Now you're back to the old method of trim, trim and extend. Another new feature is the improvements on the revision clouds. REV, do not enter. Wait for the commands that starts with REV appears. Just make sure that your F12 or your dynamic input is on. Then click revision cloud. Then let's create a revision cloud in this area. When you check the property of this revision cloud on the properties palette, control one. On the older version, this was polyline, but now, it is a revision cloud. And now, on this properties palette, under the miscellaneous, you can easily resize the arc length. When you want it to make bigger, 
or you wanted to make smaller, you can resize it here on the properties palette. I just wish that they also add some box here for the revision cloud style. So we, we can switch from calligraphy to the normal style very easy. But still, it is a very cool and a handy feature for me. Another new feature is the quick measure tool, which is now allows you to extract areas on any bounded objects in 2D view very fast and easy. To illustrate, I have some enclosed figures here and let me change my workspace into drafting and annotation. And you can access the quick measure tool under the home tab and utilities icon. And under this utilities icon, there is an arrow and there you will find the quick measure tool. If the quick measure tool doesn't appear here, it is just because the last command will be saved on top of the flyout. Just click the flyout and there you will find the quick measure tool. Click it, then hover down your mouse into any enclosed area and you see that it will turn into green. And not only that, the area and the perimeter will be displayed. Also see how it neatly separates the island and if you want to include this, just hold shift key and click the area that you want to include. I am holding the shift key. And there on the command line, you will find the total area and perimeter. So here are some of the new features on AutoCAD 2021 based on my experience and research. There are still some new features of this release like the enhancement of the black palettes and the enhancement on the touch enabled devices. But let me figure out more on these other features so I can share it with you if it is handy or not, especially those on the touch enabled devices. There you have it and thank you for watching. If you find all my videos useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for some future contents. Again, stay at home and healthy, stay positive, and God bless.